In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the different options for mapping that iOS provides. In future lessons, we'll actually work with the map APIs and take a look at their different features, and then we'll get back into the code. There are two primary map options, and the first is MapKit, which shows a Google map, and the second is MKMap, which is the map provided by TomTom. Now there are of course political reasons which iOS might have moved from Google to TomTom. Google provides the Android operating system, which of course is a direct competitor to iPhone and iPad, so that doesn't make Apple very happy, so they wanted to move away from Google for that reason, but there are also some features that they put into MKMap that are interesting as well. So MapKit is indeed the older style mapping software and API that iOS used. It works on the older versions, but they did add features to it as they went along. So there are some features that you might see in iOS 6 that do not work on an iOS 4 phone. That's not really a worry in terms of development, nothing will crash. It's just if you were counting on a particular feature, it may not be usable on an older phone. So you just have to watch out for that. The Google Maps use a static map image which means that it doesn't refresh itself when you zoom in on a phone. So when you're zooming in, you're just expanding an existing static image, so that can cause it to be a little bit blurry. So this was eventually replaced by the MK map in iOS 6. And the MK map is provided by TomTom, and that was done in iOS 6. The maps are dynamically rendered, which means the zoom mode is not blurred. It also provides turn-by-turn directions and a traffic view. So it's a more modern way of mapping for iOS, and the support is going to be continued. And one never knows when the support for MapKit might be dropped. So if you're targeting iOS 6 and above, it's probably better to use the MK map. But if you're still trying to support the older versions, particularly iOS 5 would be a very popular one to support, you might want to support MapKit. Or you might want to do some logic in your app to work with MapKit for older versions, but use MK map primarily for new versions. So those are some considerations and what your strategy for your app might be. Okay, let's get to the code. 